morning everyone, welcome to the Royal Highland Show 2022, the 200 year anniversary. I am joined here this morning by Erin Guild, who is going to keep me right this morning because what are we covering? Well, we're covering the young handlers today. So. The young handlers of the sheep, isn't yep, it? Yeah, the sheep. Okay, and this is actually very exciting this morning because Erin's younger brother Bruce yep. is currently in the ring. Yes. So if camera wants to pan round, we can have a look. So, Erin, if you can describe to camera where Bruce is in the lineup so we can so identify Bruce him. Bruce is just the second to last there. Um, number 25. Number 25. And what's ha and I've just noticed, so Bruce, Bruce's sheep doesn't even have a halter on. Yes. So why is that? So it really just depends. Some breeds, obviously you can't like handle them without a halter, you know, they might be that strong. Or younger kids might have halter, but Bruce, he's progressed without a halter. So here his sheep's having a wee wriggle about. <laughs> so. Uh, and is this one of your sheep from home? No, no, we're borrowing this sheep today, so we are. And what sheep do you have at home? Because I believe you've got sheep and cattle at home. Yes, so mainly we have a black faced sheep. So um, we, that's mainly what we, you know, do. And we also, Bruce, he's got his own flock of Beltex. His very own flock? Yeah, yeah. Wow. he started that when he was quite young age. He got his first Beltex. So, um, and we've also got some Blueface. Um, so yeah, quite a mix of sheep. <laughs> that's exciting. So earlier in the week, I was covering the Blueface Texel. Yeah. Is that, do you have those No, at home? we don't have any of them. Different not. Blueface. Yeah. Different, right. yeah. So I'm learning lots here because <laughs> Me being me, I wasn't. I didn't have lots of farming knowledge before I joined here today and started doing some presenting for Royal Highland Show, yeah. which has been really exciting for me. But I have learned so much, and yeah. it's brilliant for me meeting people like yourself. <laughs> so, if you've if Bruce has borrowed this sheep, where's this sheep come from then? So, I, I, to be totally honest, I have no clue. No clue. <laughs> but we found it's one it. of a family friend, and uh, they've got they've got some really good sheep. So we've just borrowed them off of that that today. And do we know what breed of sheep he is? So that that's a blue. There. That is a blue. Yeah. Okay. And so this is Bruce's first time in the young farmers category at the Royal Highland yes. Show. Yes. Yeah. So he does some local shows. Um, so our local one's going to come next show and he does lots of others but yeah this is the first time doing the Royal Highland show one so it's very exciting. <laughs> and what's the, do you know the importance of why we cover the young handlers at the Royal Highland show? Well I think it's really good to show the younger generation you know coming up um, and it's just nice seeing them all have fun with their sheep. Absolutely, so you must be feeling very proud of Bruce right yes, now. I am, I'm very proud proud big sister, so I am. <laughs> <laughs> so what school do you go to? So uh, I go to Robert Burns Academy. I do. Is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? Um, About your classmates? Any of your teachers? Um, school in general? <laughs> school. Just it's school? A, it's a great school. <laughs> it's a gr that's good. Yep. So you enjoy school? Yeah. Good. I do enjoy it, yeah. Are you naughty or are you nice at school? Nice. Nice. Yeah. It's important to be nice. Yeah. I think I was a little bit naughty. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so these sheep are all very, very calm. They're all doing very well, aren't they? Yeah. And there's a lovely variety we've got in the ring, isn't there? Definitely, all sorts of breeds. So I think the judge is over at this ring just now. So we've also got other sheep on the other side. So there's young handlers in the pen beside us. So we are in ring eight and nine, I believe. Yeah. So do you have a favourite type of sheep? Or breed of sheep? Sorry, I should say breed of sheep, shouldn't I? Well, we, we mainly deal with black faced sheep and I do really love them. They're, I just love, I just, there's something about them. I think because I've grown up with them, um, I, I really like them. Um, Beltex as well, they are, I love them. They, Bruce, that's his main Beltex, so he has a flock at home. But no, I must admit, I do quite like a lot of sheep. <laughs> There's all different kinds. I quite like, um, I like these really little ones. 
So, um, what was it? There was one that we covered a couple of days ago, I believe it was now, called a val valley sheep. Oh yeah, they are, they are so cute, yeah. They look like little teddy bears. <laughs> yeah. No, they are nice, I like them. And some, some of the sheep here have amazing horns as well. Yes, yeah. So that's a black faced sheep. They've got big, massive horns as well. So they, they can be quite hard to work with, actually. It'd be quite, quite painful if you get a horn. Oh, absolutely, I would so. imagine so. so the, and if we look back over in this pen, so yeah. back at pen eight, so number 21, she's got a very big sheep, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she does so. And is there an age range for young handlers? Well, there's a, so there's an older section and there's a younger section. So Bruce, yeah, my wee brother, he's in the younger section as he uh, he just turned 10 in June there. And the rules were if you were, no, sorry, he turned 11 in June there. Uh -huh. And the rules were if you were 10 in January, you go into the younger class. Uh -huh. So it's 10 and under. So, um, so yeah, that's what's, that's the rule age here. So the judge is over in that other pen just now. So these guys are just lining up, whereas yeah. we've got the judges currently in pen nine. Yeah. So what is your favourite So the young handlers, they have to try and keep an eye on the judge at all times and their sheep. Gosh, so you've got to be really concentrating, yeah. don't you? It is. It is hard. And have you ever shown any sheep yourself? Yes, I do. I do a couple of young handlers and just showing. Um, but I like to do it at like, local shows and I just cheer my wee brother on at, yeah. the, at the big shows. Being the good, big, supported sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you know, Erin, why everyone, when they're showing their sheep or cattle, wear these white coats? Well, I don't. I think it's just to show some smartness, really. Yeah. I think it's just to try and like represent the sheep. You know, you're looking and you can show, you can see how smart the sheep is and the person holding it. Absolutely. That's what I think it is for. Yeah. I don't know the proper. <laughs> well, this will be going on Facebook, so perhaps yeah. if anyone knows the answer to that question, yeah, they definitely. could write in the comment box. Yeah. was a cheeky little sheep that one. Yeah, a wee feisty one. So what did you do to prepare her to be for this? So what makes for a good handler? So in this class, for someone to win or qualify, yeah. what is it that they're looking for? Do you so know? I would say to be able to keep a hold of the sheep, even if the sheep is wriggling about, as long as they manage to keep a hold of it, and they keep looking at their sheep, so the young handler keeps looking at their sheep and their judge at the same time, making sure that their sheep's standing properly. So they are, Bruce's wee sheep, it's got their legs, that's standing nice and straight. So yeah, I'd say it's just... Bruce is doing a fantastic job. So far, <laughs> fingers crossed. He really is. I think um, they, they all are. Yeah, they're doing super. We've only had one runaway so far. So far. <laughs> I think if I was in there with them, I'd definitely, I'd be missing my sheep right now. I know. I'd be playing the part of Bo Peep. It's a lot of pressure as well, with everyone watching them. It is. Yes, this is proving to be actually a very, very popular class. Yeah. There's a nice audience. There's a good buzz around the ring, isn't there? Yeah. I think everyone enjoys watching the young handlers. And we're covering quite a lot of the young handlers today, actually. So is that quite common at the Royal Highland Show? Yeah. So the last day tends to be a few more of the young handlers? Yes, that's it. So the, I think the cows young handlers as well. It's later on today. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, it's, it's exciting. <laughs> so we're also going to be covering the Clydesdale young handlers oh, later this afternoon. Yeah. So that will be interesting. Yeah. That will be a bit of little and large going on there, I think. <laughs> No, the clay seals are beautiful, I love them. I do too. I was very jealous of um, the people that are driving the big carriages and, uh, and they've yeah. got four or six. I'd just like one. <laughs> Perhaps I could ask, do you think they'd lend me one? I mean, you could always try. Yeah, I'll write them an IOU. <laughs> Excuse the pun, being in with the sheep. <laughs> So in this class, can people show ewes and rams? Yeah, uh, you can show they can show ewes and lambs. So Bruce, is, he's got a wee lamb there. Uh huh. 
but maybe not rams because they are too big. Yeah, they are. They are big, big ones. So maybe some of the older classes they'll have, you know, the rams in them. So I have a best friend who has some pet sheep, uh-huh. and they are Suffolk. Oh yeah. And yesterday I was walking past the Suffolk, and my goodness me, the ram Suffolk are enormous. Yes, they are, they are very, very big, massive things. So how long have you been down at the show? So we came on Friday um, and we're just staying in a wee premiere and so we came on Friday and we've been here since, yeah, since then, so. And when did Bruce's sheep rock up then? So they, I think they were here till on Thursday. Look, this is Bruce now, judge is coming up to Bruce. Yeah, the judge is coming up. So they'll be asking a couple of questions like what breed it is. So he'll have done his homework and swatted up. Yeah. (laughs) Bruce's lamb's like, I've had enough. (laughs) Well, it's been standing beautifully before, so we'll we'll give it a little bit of slack, shall we? But he's handling it very well. Yeah. So he's just asking a couple of questions. So we're hoping that after this competition, Bruce is also going to join us and yeah. have a chat and let us know how, crossed, yeah. how his first young handlers class went at the Royal Highland Show. Yeah. It's a lot of noise down here, isn't there? <laughs> I think that's the more... They're all egging each other on. Yeah, they're all talking to each other. Who's going to be the winner? I'm going to be the winner. I think this is this I is think also that's the same one, isn't it, it is the same yeah. one. We're just going oh, to say hello. It's got a lovely. <laughs> just saying hi to everyone. <laughs> Do you think it's wondering? You look a bit different to me. <laughs> um, maybe as actually a bit of an attention seeker. Yeah. So we'll start down here. And... What's your name? Oh, I think Bruce is doing a smashing job. <laughs> It's always typical when the judge comes over, they always like to run away. They'll be standing perfect and then they'll just run away. Oh, there we go, another one over there. Oh dear. Oh, I recognise these wee boys actually from in Ring 9. Are they from this farming life or have they been, I think they they were featured on something uh, yeah, recently, yeah. weren't they? That must be their younger brother showing one of their sheep. Yeah, that we won there, actually. <laughs> so, how many in total sheep do you reckon you have at home? Maybe eight hundred. Eight hundred. That's that's a, that's what we specialise in sheep. So it is. So I think around about eight hundred. So. so. Have, oh you, have you ever struggled to sleep at night and managed to get all the way to 800 when you're counting them? <laughs> I thought you'd be there for a really long time, <laughs> trying to count them all. <laughs> well, you'd definitely be asleep by the time you got definitely. to 800. Oh, <laughs> 
It's very impressive that everyone's managing to hold their sheep, keep an eye on where the judge is yeah. and be interviewed at the, all at the same time. It takes some multitasking. <laughs> Absolutely. So when it's lambing season at home, do you get involved? Yeah, it's a busy time with us, obviously, having quite a lot of sheep. Oh, just 800, <laughs> only 800 of them. So we, we lamb outside because obviously you can't get a shed that fits all the sheep in and our breed, Blackface, they don't, they prefer being outside, they get stressed when they go inside. So um, yeah, it's quite a difficult task lambing outside, so it is. And do you have sheep dogs at home to help herd them all in? Yep, we do, yeah, we have a couple of sheep dogs, so they, they help a lot. What are their names? Maybe give them a shout out. Yes. I gather they probably work pretty hard for 800 sheep. <laughs> they definitely do. So we've got Lynn, we've got Flash, Nell and Jill. Four dogs? Yes. Four, four dogs? Four collie dogs. My goodness, that's almost a, that's as crazy as my parents. They've got four dogs as well. <laughs> Except they're three, three spaniels and a chihuahua. Do you think a chihuahua would be good at herding sheep? I mean, its bark <laughs> might be quite scary. You never know. <laughs> and then we've got so we've got the collie dogs and then we've got two wee cocker spaniels so they oh right yeah, so they they are inside dogs though they are not they are not they're the pet dogs. dogs yeah yeah I've got a cocker spaniel as well his name's Elvis oh I love cocker spaniels so is there anything else that you've seen at the show of, since Friday that you've enjoyed. Well, I was watching the jumping the other day there, and that was really good because I, I have my own pony actually. Oh, and right. uh, so, no, it's always nice. I just I love horses so much that I enjoy watching them jump. So, that was really good. That's always a highlight for me as well, I have to say. We were covering the Highlands as well this morning. Yeah. They're so beautiful. They are, they're really pretty. Oh, look, here's Bruce. Yeah, getting interviewed. Oh, no, we've got the judge in the way of the camera. <laughs> We want to get a good shot of Bruce. <laughs> oh, he's doing a brilliant job, though. Look at that. Oh, Does that God. mean he's down to the top three? Oh, wait and see. So what's your name? Emma. And what type of oh, my goodness. Are you this is very exciting. It is so. And is it a true blue or a crossing type blue? True blue. <laughs> Got a wee escapee. Oh no. <laughs> it's going to say hello. <laughs> it's hiding actually, it I is. think. It's done very well to catch it very quickly. Yeah. No, they're all done so far. <gasps> well done, Bruce. Keep holding on. It's doing good. He's very, he's very good at watching what the judge is doing, isn't he? Yes, he is. He, uh, must admit, he is very good so at he's that. He's 11, isn't he? Yep, he's just turned 11 there. Uh, oh. <laughs> he's got his big brothers in to help over there. Yeah. <laughs> I think ring eight seems to be the karma of the two rings, yeah, doesn't I think it? Yeah, I think it does. Got a few escapees in the ring nine, I think. <laughs> and that's first place over in ring nine. Is that a wee texel that he's got? A Beltex. A Beltex. Yeah, that's wee Archie. We Archie, so you know him? Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. So the two twins over there, that's their wee brother. Oh, right, OK. Oh, that's nice. So they were helping, actually, yeah. the other people catch their yeah. sheep again. No, it is. Oh, <gasps> my goodness, Bruce. he got second. Bruce has taken second. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. First oh. first young, young handler that's at the Royal so Highland funny. Show, and he's taken second. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you must feel so proud. <laughs> Oh, I've got goosebumps. Oh, dearie me, that's super. 
Oh, wow. Oh, he looks really chuffed. <laughs> it should be. Was it an early start? It was, yeah. Oh, that's super. That is super. Oh, brilliant. Oh. What a fantastic effort. I know. Oh, that's super. And because he, he said earlier, didn't he, he saying that he was feeling a wee bit nervous. Yeah, he was. He was quite nervous this morning. Obviously, this is his first time showing at such a big show, Highland show. So, um, yeah, he was. He was excited, but also nervous. So. Yeah. But you'd never, you'd never have thought it though know, like, when he actually hated, entered he hated the ring. It quite well. And he's still standing there, <laughs> and his sheep is still standing beautifully for him. Oh no, I'm so proud. That's super there. Here's Dad coming to take it, take it off of him. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna go and take it back to its wee pen. So, Erin, last week we've spoken lots about sheep just yeah. now, but actually it's been awesome having you here with me because you're a bit of a dab hand at this because you were doing something very exciting last week, weren't you? Yes, I was. So, so the, it was on Monday, I'm pretty sure, we went to Dumfries House and it was a Commonwealth Games baton. So there was about 10 people doing it and uh, so they'd either walk or run and then they'd pass it to the next person. So I was one of those people and I got to uh, walk with the baton. So that was a great experience. I really enjoyed that. Um, That's fantastic. Yeah. And also, what you have been very modest and you haven't even shared yet <laughs> is that actually you raise a huge amount of money for charity. Do you yeah. want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So uh, I've got a condition that's called cystinosis and it's really rare. There's only about 2,000 people in the world that have it. So um, I've been trying to raise awareness about it. So uh, uh, it was a couple of years ago and we ra we done a big massive barn dance and we raised a lot and lot of money for cystinosis. So um, no, it's just trying to get awareness out there about it, so yeah. That's fantastic. And do you know how much did you raise? So it was over £48,000, I'm pretty For sure. £40,000? I could, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. Well, I, I doubt it, <laughs> I doubt it. £40,000, that's amazing. And it was just, was it a big barn dance? Was, yeah. there, a, was there an yeah. auction? Yes, yeah, so there was auctions, there was raffles and all that sort of stuff. So, um, I was, I was, I was really And who good. all came? Was it sort of friends from school or was it yeah. like... So it was family and friends from the farming community. Um, yeah, and the, it, was, it was amazing. It was really good. So oh was, my so. goodness. Well, if we're back next year, yeah. I think I'm going to have to employ you as one of our full-time presenters because <laughs> you've been a bit of a lifesaver this afternoon this morning i keep i'm i've been at this a wee, a wee while this morning so i'm thinking it's the afternoon i've not yeah. even had my lunch yet but you've been so helpful and actually waiting in the wings we have bruce yeah the main come on man. in come on in <laughs> bruce you came second taking it amazing how are you feeling oh i don't know it's Unbelievable. Bit turn speechless. it turn it round so the camera can see. <laughs> that's absolutely amazing. What an effort and that's your first time. That's the first time showing at the Highlands, yeah. Yeah, and you you before were saying that you were feeling all nervous. Yeah. What a load of nonsense. And then you take <laughs> second place. Yeah. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Huge congratulations. Do you want to tell us a wee bit about your sheep? Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, what sort of breed was it? Uh, it's a cross and type bluefish lister. Wow, okay. Um and Erin was saying that you're so good you didn't actually need a halter. No. 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 Doesn't need a halter. <laughs> well, huge well done. Thank you. Amazing effort. Erin, thank you so much for being you're my saving welcome. grace this morning. <laughs> and I hope you both have an awesome last day of the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Should we smile and wave at the camera? And keep waving. <laughs>